Greetings, everybody. Uh, thank you for your patience. Welcome to uh, Tekken Top 8. Uh, I'm Infernal Sparrow, and then, you know, I got the, the best in the game right here, Tasty Steve, joining me uh, on the mic. <laughs> you got to say your name like you mean Infernal Spiral. You got to say it like it's in a comic book, bro. You got to mean that shit. I mean, stuff. You got to mean that stuff. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a pretty long name, so it's you would be surprised how many times uh, people end up getting it wrong. Okay. They say Inferno, Infer Inferno. You know, I get I get it everything. It's cool. It's all right. It's all right. That just means it's a cool name. But we are here for the Tekken Top 8 of Genesis 10. It's been a pleasure. Spooky blessing us with the bracket. You can see it. We got Kim going up against Ferris Silas. And Soretti versus Hitmonkey. And then, of course, we got Mouth Cow going up against Como. I'm not saying your whole name. <laughs> Bow down there. As well as Nandito the Bandito rounding out that loser's bracket. And that's going to be the Top 8 for you guys. We had a lot of Tekken 8 matches up here. Some good ass Tekken as you can see here on my yes, friend sir. shirt and of course we're gonna get right into the action I believe we're gonna have Kim Kim was rocking the king earlier mm -hmm. gonna be going up against Fear of Silence and that's the dragon off who is definitely one of the heavy hitters one of the people I, I feel like slated to win this entire tournament yeah, um, originally he was playing in, uh, in some of our locals uh, a little bit a couple of days ago, and he was wanting to test out a couple of things, you know, a lot of full crouch mix-up and stuff. Our, our grand finals was actually a Dragon Off mirror. Hey. So it'll be interesting to see if he starts utilizing some of the stuff that he learned from uh, the local. on From on stealing, your, stealing you guys' tech is yeah. what you're trying to say. Yeah. You can say it. It's okay, Spooky. Well, you know, I can't Somebody be clip that so we know who to blame. No, I'm just joking. I'm you know, sorry. I can't be biased. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but here we go. Dragon Off versus King. The classic. Nice low. Damn, counter hit right out of the <laughs> gate. You got those? You got those to the wall? He's been hitting oh. this. Well, he didn't hit it that time, but he's been going for this, and I've been really curious to see how it's going to work out because, you know, a lot of people tell you they ain't even in the game no more. <laughs> nice center up. I'm Ooh. Like, oh, wow, I gotta remember this. Yo, yeah, okay. yeah, he's challenging pretty a lot with the power crush. Yeah, but he hasn't had any successful follow-ups with it in the two throw. Ooh. Yeah. Nice low to end it off. Fear of silence taking uh, round one here. Fight. Oof. Oh. Nice. Sidewalk here. Ready. Huh? To the wall. Almost broke uh. that balcony. Pretty sure he's gonna break. There it is, yep. Uh huh. Man, my man, man is crispy. Off. It Jeez. ain't nothing but sparks here. <laughs> ain't nothing he can't uh. do. <laughs> nah. Nah. Yo, you're the kid. kid. <laughs> my knee kind of hurt a little right? bit. <laughs> the ankles are in danger. The digital ankles. Uh, full crash down, 4-1, just to keep the pressure going. Mm, man, it's blue everywhere, the yeah, sparks. Kim, Kim's trying so hard to, uh, to interrupt whenever he can, but Fear of Silence is just ready for every option that he's throwing at him. Again, Damn. nice sidestep. Okay. Able to take game one. Can't even see his Very face. Very convincingly, too. My man's got the splinter seal going on. <laughs> I actually like the outfit, man. It's just yeah. the, a lot of the presets in this game are they already pretty fired, top bro. notch. They yeah. already fire. And I think, too, that um, we'll see how he ends up adjusting in this game. Um, I like to see a little bit more variety, maybe some more homing, since uh, you know he's starting to get a read on the fact that he's been sidestepping a lot of the options at the start of the round. Mm -hmm. Nice punish. Ooh. Ooh. The ankle. And you can see the mix is strong. Goes for the low, then goes for the mid with the wall splat. Okay, spring kick actually works this time and instantly Full goes for the, the third side dimension, walk. bro. <laughs> the third dimension. It's a 3D fighting game. Do you forget what we're playing? Right? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, the walking. Uh, running two. Tries to call him out with a hop kick. It did not work out. A little chip damage right there. Wall splat. Uh, a step back. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, okay. And he ends up getting the, the, the floor break, but it wouldn't matter anyway because with uh, with a third round, the climax. You know, I'm curious. I wonder why he's not doing the new stream uh, close out on the wall. Yeah. The, what is it? Down three, four, two, I believe. The, that the, one. The, yeah, the down two, one plus yeah. two. Oof. Okay. Oh, for the homeless kids out Let's there. Let's go. Through the floor. No? Okay. Oh, we're here. not going downstairs. I'm surprised. Down back three. Kim trying to get something started. Has the lead in this potential last round. Keeping up the pressure. Uh huh. You gonna run at him? Goes for the one follow up, the safest one. 
Oh, oh, oh. Nice sidewalk. Doesn't able to get anything, though. It just gets a small jab right there. Mm -hmm. Looking for more. Power crush Ooh. to get through. Nice interrupt there. Oh, no break. And I did, though. Down three to close <laughs> out Kim. Getting so momentum. All right, signs of life showing. Oh, Jaguar step back. See if Movement. he can take that momentum. Uh -huh. Nice interrupt again. And not going for the throw option at all. He went for the low at one point in time, but does not break the throw. And it's breaking the floor, though. Yeah, I think okay. he's just afraid of fear of silence and a lot of the movement that he's been doing throughout the match, so he's kind of afraid of just doing the throw in general. Oh, there we go again. Nice punish. And we're seeing the new balance in action. <laughs> a little yeah. bit more pushback off of the sneak board. Yeah, I was uh, playing games with one of my friends, actually, who is a dragon off player. He's like, man, I can't believe they nerfed him. I was like, no, 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 they fixed him. That's, that was stupid, and you know it was stupid. And I literally had to tell him that. He's like, yeah, bro, it was, it was so nerfed. I'm like, that's not a nerf, that's a fix. That was dumb, and you know yeah, it. Yeah, like, a little slap on the wrist. Right? He's still ridiculous. Stop playing with me, man. But a quick game right there for Fear of Silence. Luckily, that was winner's side, so Kim does have an opportunity on the, low, on the losing yeah, bracket. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, big ups to, to Fear, you know. Um, maybe in, a, you know, in the future, um, I'm definitely there's like a, a little bit of a uh, – you know, a couple of moves that were the same in terms of like a, a flow chart, maybe trying to like, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of uh, homing, a lot of, yeah. uh, you know, more variety in the move list. Cause you know, it seemed like he was afraid to get a lot of his game going just due to the, the movement that Fear of Silence was kind of showing yeah. a little bit of uh, conditioning in a way. But right now we got Insanity and Hitmonkey up next. Two North Cal natives. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to see that, um, you know, North Cal is being shown on the map. Normally when, you know, you hear California, normally it's, uh, you know, down in the south. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you catch my drift. No, nah, no, nah, I feel you. I feel, see, this is my, one of my first times. Obviously, look, I used to live in SoCal for a long time. And coming up here, and I've recently started going to, like, the locals and stuff mm -hmm. and, like, playing. So it's very interesting to see, like, all these different people that I've already known, Insurretti being one of them actually like play like at their locals and i know uh i was talking to the homie bad dog earlier mm -hmm. he's saying hit monkey that's one of his guys that's what we play yeah with. so basically the the venue that we have in sunnyville um key and his wife end up owning that internet cafe that we end up using to do really? the venues yes oh that's sick yo you gotta show some love there. yeah it's just a shout out to him um i mean we it, it hasn't you know it's grown quite a bit just due to the fact that we have something in the south bay and especially after you know the closing due to the pandemic from you know the esports arena and everything like that so a lot of the you know the peeps for like various games are trying to find somewhere to go mm. and you know key ended up presenting an opportunity to some you know to one of our tos in the area we ended up doing it it grew and expanded um you know aside from tekken we have like smash and, and street fighter you know various other games okay okay i mean that's a positive thing especially because mm -hmm. You know, you get the opportunity to have these locals. I was actually talking about this earlier with TK Breezy. Man, since 8 has dropped, there's been so many more instances where, you know, you're starting to see these locals pop up a lot more where people are getting to, like, represent, play games. Uh, and obviously that's good for the scene, good for the game itself because it is brand new. It is a new Tekken. So I like to see it in all honesty. Yeah, and not to mention, you know, we're still kind of, like, entering that, that third week. So a lot of people are still kind of just seeing what, you know, what opportunities are there and eat some of the Still a lot moves. of learning. Still yeah. a lot of learning. A lot of frames have changed, especially for Huarang. You know, like I was just talking to Insanity earlier, and it's like, you know, oh, yeah, back one's like minus 13. I'm like, what? I used to punish that with like forward 1-1 one, one with Jack yeah. and 7. And it's, you know, it's just a lot of uh, – it's going to it's gonna take a lot of time for people to kind of just, you know, get out of that that funk of, uh, of muscle memory because yeah. some things might not be as they, they seem in this game. Okay. Well, here we go. The mirror match like you called out before. Huarang, Huarang. Fight. Great movement on both sides. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they they play pretty often, so it's it's uh... a <laughs> really oh, so they know each other. Okay, oh, yeah. all right. Nice duck right there. Nice option. Uh -huh. Man, my man is using a lot of stance. A little chip damage as well on insert. Life lead definitely in favor right now. I hit monkey. Oh, oh, nice interrupt. While well, standing four, try to make something happen with it. No combo, but hit monkey. Round number one in his first game. Yeah, able to, to take the pressure from the chip damage from Heat and then able to keep up the aggression. Hopefully he can uh, continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Going for that low extension. Tries to look for a launch right there. Not going to get it. 
Power Crush has some homing on it. Just frame skyrocket. No punish. Ooh. Back three does not hit, but I'm not sure how that happened, but it's a 3D <laughs> game. I know how it works. Yeah, weird interaction, but, you know, he was still able to uh, optimize it despite the situation. No nice break on the one plus two. No, wow, no breaks at all right now. It's ready. Oh, yo, go straight for the heat smash <laughs> after activation. One for one. Great movement on both sides. Oh, back three with the whip punish. Mm. The thing is about Warong in this game, I feel like I always knew this was going to be an issue. The fact that they've like put chip damage into mm -hmm. the game, he's very much like, hey, you have to understand this character on some knowledge check, right? You don't have any other options. You have to understand like how this character strings up. So obviously, it's not too much of a thing for these players. Yes. Because Hitmonkey and Ansarity are two players of Warong. Yeah. So. It's, it ends up becoming a straight mind game because of the fact that, you know, eventually you're going to have to interrupt the pressure. But at the same time, you know, if the player is starting to get prepared for it, you know, it's like, oh, you know, you might try to dig jack here in this situation. Or yep. I know the frames. Is, oh, my the gosh. Master. The punch parry. No, Yo, the spark. Again. Looking for a back three. Not going to get it. Nice mid stomp to follow up. Tracking moves to keep the pressure moves. going. Yo, hit monkey's going off. Oh Wait a my minute. God. He burst and instantly spins the dash in Serenity, actually spending all of his resources to make sure Hitmonkey does not have a chance to run it back. That's going to give him the first game. And that was looking really good for Hitmonkey in those mm -hmm. first two rounds. And I think, too, when it, it, especially for, you know, normally both of these players are very patient. They like to wait for their opponent to make mistakes. But whenever you're dealing with your own character, it's kind of like this weird, like, dynamic and whether or not you should take to aggression, um, whether or not if, you know, they're thinking the same thing that you do. Yeah. And you said these guys got a lot of experience versus each other, so that's really going to be the tail of the tape, I feel like. Oof, chest frame, skyrocket. Oh, no. But this wow. is the follow-up. It was a guessing game. Don't tell me I was a North Cal reset, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have this little infamous thing of a North Cal reset where normally we don't finish the combo, and yet we end up getting another launcher anyway. Mm. <laughs> and mm. somehow it just works. I am about to say, I wasn't expecting it. Down four, two, hold up. Sincerity needs all this. I think spin I'm seeing it. the wall here. You got to spin it. I just rage drop, bro. You got all this. Yeah, okay, you got the go. kill. Got the kill. That was good. Sincerity taking round one of game two. Fight. Nice low carry. carry. Hold up. Looking nice for the ball. carry. And we're getting the uh, wall uh, almost uh -huh. instantly. Shout out to Bake Do Song. Yo, Ooh. tried the back one. My man sidestep down for a two hit monkey on the lead in the set. Big damage on the table. The aggression. Oh, nice break. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't hit me with my own pimp. Uh, it wasn't over for Insanity yet, but Heat Monkey able to go round for round. Mm -hmm. Needs to be real careful right now. Man, Heat Monkey, when he comes to like snowballing, mm -hmm. my man is strong. Clean back three here. Look at the wall carry here. Uh uh. Big damage. Yo, damn, that was half? Oh. Power crush, not gonna work. Break oh, this no. good this it's, time around. It was good. Sincerity trying to get away from the wall. Little chip damage, follow up. Yep. Taking some damage on the way out. Still there. Just need one big mistake from one of these players. It's not out yet for either one. 23 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. Plenty of time to get exactly. a down forward <laughs> two. I mean, you don't have to spend it, but you should to get the kill. Oh, that's definitely dead. Uh. And even then, too, like, at least with the with the heat, sometimes, you know, with the extra damage and everything like that, you know, sometimes you, a lot of people end up trying to gauge if, you know, the scaling's a little bit off and whether or not it's going to finish. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, ever since I started playing Aiden, I haven't really, like, how many raid drops I've used as well as just how I use heat is completely different, it feels mm -hmm. like, from 7. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh, the pressure of Mountain for Insanity. Looking to tie this one up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, him on, he can't get out of the wall. Oh, the pressure's power. too much. Goes for the down four. Oh, what a duck. Nice duck and punish. Final round. Insanity on match point here. Man, this song is so good. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of the game, a lot of the tracks in this game are just bangers. I've been listening to it on Spotify almost every other day. Nice block. Hit Monkey with the big back three. We should see the wall again. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, hit monkey. Oh, nice sidewalk. 
Wow, back turn. Hit Monkey's making sure Insanity's not getting out for free. The pressure. Uh oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, Insanity's turning up with the music. Huh. Uh. Oh, bad. Uh. No. Nice yeah. Uh. Uh, uh. Not you spending the heat yet. Looking to get more pressure off. Back nice one, punish. not gonna work. Great punish. Uh. He smashed. Yes, sir. Get the plus. What's the deal? The low. Oh no! Three yeah. seconds. Make a decision. Time oh, insanity. Uh. Able to get it by the skin of his teeth. Bro, that was a sick match though. They were actually <laughs> swinging on each other. <laughs> And Sarity staying alive on this winner's side of the bracket. Hitmonkey going to go to the loser side, of course. We already got two members down there. But this does set up our winner's finals, which is going to be Fear versus Insanity. That's going to be our winner's finals, but we still got another half of the bracket to look at with this loser side. Oh, Hitmonkey feeling it, though. I like to point out, yes, it's like, sir. man, almost got you, man. <laughs> And also, this is a, a bit of a rematch from what we ended up having in our locals for, like, top three. So, Insanity is definitely looking to kind of get that run back against Fear and Silence. And hopefully, okay. some of those adjustments that, you know, and the momentum that he's carrying on through the winners is able to, you know, benefit him in the long run. And hopefully get that punch that ticket to Grand Finals. And you can see right here, Fear and Silence, Insanity going up for the winners finals. Those are going to be your two guys. But now we got Bao versus Nandito the Bandito coming up. Of course, we got Mouth Cow and Como right above them as well. So we still got some more games for you guys to watch. Um, and nice, uh, a nice little spread of characters on mm -hmm. top of that. And just seeing like quite a few of the players that actually come from this scene that actually are playing in this tournament. And we were talking about this earlier. I was talking to some of the people that come here. They're like, hey, man, there's a lot of like Tekken players here, which is a good thing. Yeah, not to mention, too, um, uh, normally, like, we, we're kind of uh, a little bit of a hidden, you know, North Cal, New Illuminati a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so we're definitely trying to put North Cal on the map, and hopefully, you know, with this tournament, people are actually able to see the talent that's, uh, you know, cooking up here. Um, everyone's been working hard every single day, and it's been proven um, throughout, you know, the numerous Evos and numerous majors that we've been going to together. And it's, you know enjoyable for me to to watch my my fellow uh, my brothers my teammates uh you know friends of mine that you know are able to to put their skills out there for for the rest of the world to see well i'm gonna tell you right now like i know you guys have been having like the weeklies down here as well because i actually talked to a few people about it who've actually been coming to those uh and just even like someone asked me uh when i was walking over here to start my commentary group, was like hey man we heard you talking about that like where is that at and we were just talking about like guild house mm -hmm. being one of those main spots as well so it's actually been really cool to see like you know a nice little spread of the the norcal mm -hmm. the the i guess what i want i guess it's still norcal right no yeah. matter where we're at okay yeah, yeah of yeah. course as, like i'm a transplant i don't know i don't know <laughs> a lot of times i don't even know where i am it's so a we pretty gotta, big place so yeah. it's it's and not to mention where they're trying to set up some stuff in um uh, in san francisco as well so for the east bay a little bit up uh, like a little bit up north they have some place the to go to because it is a little bit of a long drive from you know yeah. oakland everything to get down to like the Bro, south it's bay. an hour for me to get here so yeah. i already know <laughs> But Man. as I expected, um, Bao and Nando, also two uh, North Cal natives. Um, Nando has been doing a, a mix between Dragonoff and Yoshi, but he's been playing Yoshi throughout most of this tournament. So it'll be interesting to see how he ends up uh, throwing uh, the mix in there. Okay, getting started already. Get the guarantee. Wow, the 4 3. Yo, flash for the float, huh? Yo! <laughs> I wanted to see the end of that combo, actually. Nice punish there. Oh, yo, Go Miyazaki, the, the Spirited Away? A little yo. bit of scaling there. Didn't finish Bao off. Bao's getting a chance to come back here. Let's see what he does with it. Not to mention is able to waste Nando and heat. What the? Oh goes under God. the power. The, under the 4, 1, plus 2, which is a power crush and a heat engage starter. So that was really good. Yo, puts the sword up. Quick draw right there. Yo, the spin. Full counter hit, gonna get a pickup and a combo off of that? I didn't even know that. <laughs> yes. I think, like, with, with the recent changes to him in 8, they're wanting people to use the, the no source stance a little bit more. Now, that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, the way that he actually gets so much life back now, especially when he's in heat, it really does tell you. Exactly. Can't give you a hint in how they want you to play this character. Front and three pressure. into stance is crazy. You'll get oh, the legs. The low throw. Uh. Come on. Mix up from stance. 
Goes for the health sweep. Not much out of it, though. Nice, nice. down 4 2. Not going to be able to get the kill, but going to be real close. Uh huh? Let's see if he's looking for all. Oh, I think he was possibly looking for an Oki situation there, but still able to take the round. All right, two rounds in. Bandito looking strong. Flash, heat engage. Unblockable oh. again. Really milking it. Really milking it right now, as he should. <laughs> and the that's the fake out yep. with the 043, <laughs> yo. I right, spend it all. Oh, Ooh. just misses the ender though. Still able to get the perfect. Slash kick to close it out. I mean, I don't know if I want to call it seven gold letters or seven white letters. It's just so big on the screen. <laughs> Man, the perfect on top of it. And I think that's because he got life back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think from, from Bao, too, it's just that he's trying to get a lot of that, that stance um, offensive game going. It's just that Nando's just interrupting him at every single opportunity, not letting him breathe. And I think that's what you have to do with Azucena because I feel like she's very heavily momentum-based. And once she gets going, she's kind of hard to stop, especially with the, the wall running 3 plus 2 able to close it out Man, and everything yeah. like that on Oki. It's just a complete mind game. Wow, counter hit. Let's see if you can get to the wall, though. Let's see. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh. What you got for the mix? Oh, he was going for the hard okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Doesn't wall splat. Yo, taste the rainbow skills? Oh, not dead yet. And Nando able to close it out. Gets the, the grounded hit. I didn't even know that the first hit of the heat smash was grounded. Yeah, I th but I thought it was. I think it's because she moved. I, think, I don't think it yeah, hit on the ground. I'm not too sure. Okay. The combo here. Okay. Oh. Wow, just yeah, late oh, right in front of your face, <laughs> unblockable low. Almost close to tip range there. Nando able to reset it out in neutral. Val trying to get something going. Oh. And he, let's see what he can do. Yep, oh. uh oh, activated. Hey, get off the. Oh my god. The, the fuzzy, <laughs> the, yo. Sandito oh. is going back to the wheel so often. <laughs> Yo, Bao actually kind of hit the fuzzy right in front of Yoshimitsu. Still got hit by the sweep. Oh my god, what is happening? Everything is hitting. And it got the wall. Man, Nando showing the full oh. bag of tricks with Yoshi now. Flash again. Wow, that splat high as hell. Uh. Oh my god, caught him out of the airborne, able to get the screw. Jeez. Nando finishing it off with the heat smash. Nando with a very convincing 2-0. That was a quick 2-0. Oh my god. Yo, oh, it's all love out here. <laughs> that was nice. And no, by nice, I mean that was savage. Jeez. But, you know, big ups to Bao. You know, he was doing what he can. And, and, you know, Yoshi is just one of those characters where I feel that if you don't fully lab him, he's definitely going to be, you know, catch you off guard. Especially with a lot of the new stuff that he ends up having. And it's, it's, a, it's complete, like, craziness. It's just bonkers. And everyone just plays differently, too. Like, not, not one Yoshi's the same. Well, I mean, setting up a Yoshi versus King coming up right here. You can see Kim versus Nandito in that loser's quarters finals right there. Hitmonkey still waiting on the winner of Mild Cow and Como in this loser's side. Like you already seen before, we do have that winner's finals already set. And we're going to crown a winner here, man. A Genesis X champion for Tekken 8. It's been such a pleasure to be here, like, talking fighting games. Man. I know. It's likewise, it's it's great that, you know, that Genesis has opened his doors up to a lot more fighting games. And, you know, hopefully with, you know, how much of a big of a turnout it is, with like 139 people that signed Ooh, up for the tournament. That's a lot of people. I was surprised just considering, you know, how it's mainly just a Smash event. And now that they're, um, you know, a lot more events are getting a, a bit of a shine. You know, Tekken 8 just came out. Street Fighter 6 came out a lot too long ago. And I think further down the road, this could potentially just be like a, a big, like major West Coast event for a lot of players because we definitely need that. Look, that'd be sick. I'm telling you right now, especially considering like, one, I don't get to go to as many like West Coast events mm -hmm. now. And I don't think there's many like fighting game West Coast events out there, especially like big events that mm -hmm. still exist anymore. So, I mean, why not have it at Genesis, man? We see how many people are. You can see the crowd out there. Man, there's mad people here. <laughs> so, it's actually really cool. And this is my first one. So, it's been a pleasure no matter what. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's just the first one for me, too. So, hey. I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's, you know, it's it's been such a great event. You know, I've gotten to meet, like, a whole lot of people from, you know, various different backgrounds, games, everything like that. 
and everyone's just having a lot of fun. I think that's just, you know, what fighting games are all about at the end of the day, and I'm glad that, you know, Tekken's able to share that spotlight with uh, some of the Smash people, and it also gives us a chance to, to see a lot of the local talent within the West Coast. All right, here we go. Picking the characters, making sure the buttons are correct, as you always should in any tournament environment. Please disconnect your controllers, ladies and oh. gentlemen. It's the, the PS5, uh, the PlayStation conundrum. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, you know, there's a, a, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people end up still having their same controller, Get so it doesn't, it doesn't fall under that, uh, that Bluetooth effect. <laughs> that wall of muscle can't stop, stop me. <laughs> Man, they straight understand cat noises. That's wild. Come on. Come on. Yo, Mouth Cow has some crazy combos, by the way. And then Como, the the escape artist, the <laughs> the crazy one, ended up seeing him a little bit before top eight. Pretty hype. Here we go. Uh oh, Lionheart, very to interrupt him. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yo, Committed Blade on the low. heat engager, the heat dash. Ow, you deadly boomerang. Range. I threw that before I walked in the room. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> Yo! Just as much damage as a heat smash there. Yo, we seen Como like in his earlier games do the same thing. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Uh, oh no. Yo, he got the chest frame one. Uh, the powered up versions. The Manhattan drop. The gut wrench power bomb. The muscle buster. Oh, Get nice off break. me, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. They hit on the ground. Como's like, even if you're trying to escape, you're not walking away unscathed. Damn, they put him to sleep standing up the back one. Take him to the wall. Break the balcony. Uh, uh. Going downstairs. I'm done playing around. Oh, hard spike. Pressure. Yo, speed box. Man, he's reminding me of a Hugo from a Bloody Roar because he used oh, to hit yeah. the body, body, one, two. <laughs> the, the body. Man, we're trying to get a, a kind of get a Bloody Roar character in, bro. We can't have that. Bruh, that would actually be sick. I vote Bakri you the mole, or maybe. Oh, oh, gets the full uh, uh, confirm. Uh, uh, uh. Back three on the wall. Unblockable. Oh, my what, God. That exploded? Uh, big damage. I didn't know you could get a wall burst in that area. Yeah, that little corner. Yo, you're dead. Counter dead. hit throw. Uh, Kaneku bust out. <laughs> Como embracing his inner anime. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Down two stream. Como's like, I'm going to get you somewhere somehow. Gets the giant swing. Malcow should be able to break it. Yes, sir. Gets the tech. Beat down punch on top of it. Nice roll. Giant swing again. Should be able to take the, I mean, you could take it. So. Yeah, another tech. Scale that damage. It's just a straight brawl between these two players. Malcow engaged. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> oh, yo, Malcow. Big okay. payoff, tied up. First game. Low parry. Okay, Mouth Cow probably shooting for that uh, that wall burst there. Oh, Como trying to get out. Three for three for Giant Swing. Teched it again. Ooh, just out of range. Yeah, Como trying to look for a way to get in. Mouth Cow's defense is pretty sound right now. Line three. Oh my Big god! Big Atlas Hammer. Huh? Oh, no more Wow, that to still close hit. Out. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's just because of the fact that Math Cow was looking to get in, didn't expect Como to end up doing that particular move. Ends up paying off for him taking first game. And I think that you know, between like the the brawl and everything, Math Cow's playing a pretty good Get game. He's kind of you know battle. pressuring him, learning how to uh, you know keep him out playing defense. And I think it's you know he needs to build upon that defense and just let Combo make the mistakes. Kind of just weather him down, kind of less on the big risks. Unless he smells blood in the water, Ooh. just like that. <laughs> Yo, that Lionheart launcher, bro. I think it's what, Lionheart 2? Yeah, Lionheart 2. Oh, wow, goes for the tackle, didn't go for the launch. Yo, oh, break the arm, snap the neck. Uh. Doesn't break the full thing. Como getting Oki. Oh, wow, that could have been dangerous. Still gets the follow up unblockable Moonsaw. Giant swing broken this time. I'm done playing around. Albatross spin. Wow. That's a heat extender? Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. 
gets the Oki. He'll get slowly, your ass up. slowly evening the life between the two players. Oh. Okay, he got an option here. Goes for the mid. The mid tracking move. Oh Yo. no, gets oh. the counter hit. Yo, Como. My Carry. man, do not be using heat, dude. <laughs> he does not use like, nah, bro, we gonna do this all regular. Normal. I want water flavor. <laughs> nice break. I don't need vanilla, no chocolate, no, I want water flavor. <laughs> Sizes him up, gets the 10 count. Nice punish. Yo. Oh, interrupts him out of Lionheart there. Uh. Oh, Albatross, and that is a heat extender. Uh -huh. Nice interrupt. Como okay. was trying to look for the throw. That could have potentially done a lot of damage if Como was able to get it off. Still able to tie it up. Yes, sir. No break on the throw. Oh, oh one there we reversal. go. Hold on. Malkow oh. said, don't doubt me. It's not over yet. That's one thing Como did a lot. He would use jabs, so a lot of times he would get floats when you try to do like random jump moves up close. Nice heat burst to interrupt the pressure. Nice. Back two. Just like what? I was explaining before, Mouth Cow is just slowly letting Como end up making more mistakes. He doesn't have to take the big risk when he ends up having an enormous life lead. Okay. Finishes the string. Nothing. Woo! Nice whip punish there. Yeah. Doesn't break the throw. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Yo, the Another clinch. clinch. <laughs> Same throw again. No break. Mouth Cow able to take game two. Tying it up 1 1 in the set. Very nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we can't explain what happened there, but... Uh, <laughs> Gave him a big thumbs up. That's what he did. <laughs> He's like, man, you, you got a great Steve, man. Your Steve is so good. I'm going to tell you right now. This is why there's no friends when you're playing fighting games, bro. <laughs> Especially in turn. While we're playing at the house, cool. We're playing a tournament. Don't talk to me, man. We're, we're, I'm, we're not there right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, see, it's all love in the end. We'll see who comes out on top. Loser ends up going home. A straight brawl at the very beginning. Back to lead. Ooh, Como's just able to get those big hits in the first round, able to take it very swiftly, I might add. Nice duck. A little down jab there. Mouth Cow filling him out, letting Como come to him. Very nice. I like this option, slowing it down Ooh. a little bit. Wait a minute. Mouth Cow oh. got interrupted during the aggression. Como able to take a big chunk off. Out of the Caught air. him airborne. Oh, nice break. He oh, smashed again. Dead. That might be dead. Yes, sir. Como taking round two. Round oh, no. <laughs> the and the key charge. Said, almost said, this is my round. I'm the champion here. What's crazy is we saw like Mouth Cow fight earlier and he was doing such a good job of just breaking ultimate tackle and stuff like that. Yeah, I noticed like Mouth Cow's doing a little bit less aggressive tactics. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just due to the fact that it is a little bit more of a pseudo infinite. And I think it's benefiting Como a lot more so he can kind of just go about doing his thing regardless. You know, he's still able to get a decent amount of damage with game. Figure four, leg lock. Woo! Fairly even on life. Mouth Cal expends the heat. Pressure. Como activates his. Goes oh, for the heat. Dead. Oh my god! <laughs> I know, he's like, yo, what the hell? I'm getting the frosty flashbacks. Right? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> One of the most damaging heat smashes in the game. Como able to take it over. Mouth Cow 2-1. Yeah, man, you activate heat, you really got to be careful. Especially with King, because King, as you can see, takes off so much damage. I, I'd say, like, he's got a weapon. He goes in the heat, and he's like, I dare you. Like, if you miss anything, you whip, you're in the air. And that's like 45% instantly, so.
Yeah, and I think people are still trying to figure out the way to use Heat because it, it seems like although they're trying to focus more toward this aggressive play style for, for a lot of people, I feel like Heat can also be used as kind of a little bit of a defense mechanic, or if you will, or at least like some That's sort true. of a, a panic move in a way where it's like this whole mind game of, oh, I use my Heat, I'm plus. Am I going to immediately hit Heat Smash? Am I going to back away? Am I going to keep the pressure? There's like a lot of things you can kind of do with that, and, and it can vary from character to character. Well, here we go. Hit Monkey. Como coming up. Cam Nandito coming up. And we got two kings in this bad boy, huh? Yes, sir. We'll see if we could potentially get the get the mirror. But uh, Hit Monkey and Como. Oh, here we go. The good old rock, paper, scissors. Good old we were just RPS talking about this size. earlier about the you know the first and second player because we were yeah. just like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, which one you want? He's like, well, you know, I do the same thing. I tell them what side they want to play on. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Genesis X Top 8 for Tekken 8. That's right. Genesis X Top 8 Tekken 8 action. It's been good, man. Yeah, we can through Infernal Spiral. <laughs> Bro, you got to say it like you mean it. That's a good name, though. You got Spiral in there? Come yeah, it, on, was, it was the very first game that I ever played when I was young. What? Oh, you was raised right, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. That was, the, that was the Nickelodeon of games, bro. Spiral the Dragon, he was... I remember that, bro. <laughs> Turning them into coins. That's how you know the fire was hot, man. Yeah, I never got to actually finish it when I was younger. I was kind of stuck on the, the Wizard World with the, the guys with the weird I faces. It no, freaked no, me no, out I when I was a kid, about. so I never got to finish it. I went back to finish it when I was a little older, so I ended up in, you know enjoying the, the good old days. It, you know, it's... It's amazing to see. It took me a while to come up with the name, too. Originally, I just had Spiral with, like, four numbers on it. You know, the typical, uh, you know, Xbox names and right. everything like that. Dang, you had the, <laughs> the identification code, <laughs> Infernal 42775. No, <laughs> You know, it's it's a you know a little. I didn't have much of imagination back then, but you know, considering that I ended up getting into the FGC in 2014, I was trying to figure out I exactly see. like a a bit of a, a name or a handle for myself that when I would go to tournaments because I originally started off with DOA5. DOA5, another classic, another one. I heard uh, one of the the Dead or Alive guys is actually on the the battle development team for Tekken Eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's you can definitely see that in on a, a lot of stages like Elegant Palace, a, a mm. lot of the the, the animations actually, for yeah, the wall breaks right. and everything like right. that. Um, I believe it's Shimbori is is kind of I believe like, yeah. yeah. And on top of that, I was talking. I can't. I think it was like I can't remember who I was talking to, but somebody was saying it was like, man, they're surprised more DOA players haven't like you know jumped on the Tekken like bandwagon because mm -hmm. it hasn't been a DOA game in a long time. Um, but even still, though, it's just good to have a new game in a fighting game franchise like Tekken, man. A historic franchise, bro. It's been around for a long time. One of my favorite games out there. I can tell you that right now. I mean, if it wasn't obvious, obviously evident. You know, two, two million copies in three weeks. It just seems like everyone's enjoying the game. Namco's just like, oh, my God. You know, everybody just buying these copies. Everyone's enjoying the game. Um, you know, it's, it's everyone's just trying to, you know, Enjoy the characters, the new characters, you know, the, the old characters in Heat, yeah. what they're able to do, a lot of the new stuff. There's just so much to learn, and it's, you know, amazing to see that a lot of people are taking a lot of positive feedback from the game, and I think those two betas that we ended up having ended up helping, you know, build a better game down the road. And so Not hopefully, like, yeah, Evo Japan, you know, coming up, hopefully we're able to see, like, a, a much bigger, like, talent pool and, you know, see what Japan's been cooking up. I'm really interested to see how Evo Japan is going to pan like, actually play out because that's going to be crazy. That's going to be – I feel like that's one of the first big tests. And, mm -hmm. like, on top of that, I'm glad you talked about those because those are basically, like, our loke tests, right? Those were, like, loke tests for the game. And, obviously, like, there's a lot of things that need to be tweaking, I feel like, in this version of the game already, even with, you know, mm -hmm. super buff king. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I know you definitely love that. I mean, look, I'm going to tell you right now. I said this on stream earlier, bro, and I mean it, like – it don't matter what they do to their character. I'm still going to play him. Like, so good, bad, broken, no, I'm going to play that character. I mean, I got uh, obviously I got other characters that I can play, but, like, King is, like, my main. That's that's what called me to it, man. They over there chanting for the Smash Bros right now. <laughs> I definitely feel that. But, you know, initially I, I played, a, you know, Tekken, you know, since Tekken 3, but I didn't really get competitive until 7 came out. And I played Gigas for the entire life cycle of the game. And, you know, I've been through the, the ups and downs like you've been through. And yeah. now it's just me finding that journey to, you know, find the character that has a similar sort of taste, that, that feeling of wanting to actually just enjoy the game for what it is. 
music, start with the move list, just combos, everything, like the whole nine yards. And you only play one character, or are you stick are you trying to find like characters as well? Are you go across the board? Do you have your own do you have one that you locked in on or do you play multiple characters? Well, right now it, it was I played Jack in both the betas. I tried Azusena a little bit too in the beta. Um, when the game came out, since I did play a lot of Jack, I play, I, tr I wanted to try Victor as well. Um, but right now, Jack is probably like the one that's been, you know, has that little that that flavor that I've been looking for 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 a good while. It normally it's a lot of people assume that I just play big bodies in like every fighting game, but normally I try to play with the whole roster and and see exactly what you know suits me the most or how how do I feel with this character because it it, it kind of just differs from the game to game. Whereas like you know DOA I played Rig, that's why I was like, why don't you just play Wong then? Yo, Rick was tight at DOA though. <laughs> I was uh, I played Gin, Helena, and uh, Ian. Those are my guys. I ain't gonna even stunt. I love those nice guys. Nice variety. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, I, Helena was so sick. And Gin, I love the fact that he like he'll not he'll do the throw and then yeah. he can't. I I <laughs> love that. This is a whole reset. It's just a lot of love and care that ends up going in these sort of things. And you end up seeing it here in Tekken 8 as well with how good the, the sales from Tekken 7 have been. And then it just translates over into the next game. There we go. Oof. They Starting trade. off here with the trade. Man, this stage Ooh, is ridiculous. Don't break on the throw. Get up. He's like, all right. Oh, that nice. was so Interrupt good. Again. And a great duck that, like, could test the Jaguar sprint. Stans cancel combos here from Nandito. Damn. Taking the Unblock damage from the wall. <laughs> so I like how you're staring. <laughs> right? What you looking at? Unblockable. <laughs> I know it looks pretty. <laughs> That's the thing. Thank you, uh, thank you, Harada, for the Tekken 8 effects. All right. Uh. Uh. Ow, the flash. Oh, heat engage. Could be worse. Oh. Ends Damn. up avoiding the throw, but Nando's still able to get the perfect regardless. Quick two rounds. Nice punish. No sword. Oh. Oh, up one Very three. nice. Ooh, gotta be careful. Two hit string. <laughs> double the double do, the double perfect. Our right, man Nando showing out for the viewers at home. Hope you're enjoying this uh, good-ass Tekken action. Man, this song is too powerful. Just gets me every time. It's every time I heard it, I'm like, damn, I can't believe that's a Get fighting game song. <laughs> but we, though, after the TWT Finals, they played this at the spot that we went to for the party. Man, even people that were regulars there, they had never even heard it before. They was like, yo, what is this? I'm like, bro, <laughs> video game music, bro. Okay, people's elbow. He gets a free down for a 3 plus 4, but maybe he's just taking the Oki and keeping him close. Oh, word. Yeah, especially since Nando's a little bit, you know, absent on, uh, on the Oki situations, kind of just letting Kim do his thing. Down back 3. Okay. Oh, just when I was about to say, you know, he's been careful about avoiding the flashes, but Nando able to, to get it off and sealing uh, round one in the game two. Down four two. Uh, uh. No one using the floor breaks yet. Down back three. Nando's like, nah, are you getting back on this wall? Kim fighting out. Uh-oh. Yo, no taste break. the rainbow skills. <laughs> Let's go. I thought that he was going to have a little bit slither of health there. Oh. Did take advantage of it. A little simple 2-1. Muscle bust through uh -oh. the floor. Is, is breaking. Gonna, it's going to uh -huh. break the floor? Yeah. Yes. Sir. You get a big damage combo right here, actually. Yeah, oh, damn. He's still able to convert. I didn't know you could just do Oh, I'm learning. Let's go. You just get a free one? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, not Another again. one. Uh. Go to the basement? My man Nando uh, impressing us here with the DJ Khaled. Uh-oh. No, oh, you're not no breaking that. That was a counter no. hit throw. Signs of life from Kim. Kim's not wanting to go home yet. Oh, I like that little snap uppercut. Okay. People's elbow. Uh, got him out of the That's air. a tornado? Yeah. That's actually pretty good, especially in a matchup like Yoshimitsu, since she's kind of like flying Always around the same in the area. Yeah. 
Mando stealing the route back, taking his life. I need that life back. I need that life back. Oh, man. Mando and going with his inner child with the Beyblade, able to finish off. And Kim going out of the tournament. And look, I always like to see a good king. Kim had some great games this weekend. I got to call a few of them. But Nandito, the Bandito, takes it, stays alive with the Yoshimitsu. Whew. Honestly, man, it's just a lot of just good Tekken all around. And, you know, to be fair, it's, you know, big ups to Kim. Um, I know it's, it's it's sad to kind of see, you know, your your favorite characters in in uh, it don't <laughs> various bother me, matches man, go. <laughs> it, it be like that sometimes. You can't win them all, you know. But I just like to see King, you know, in all honesty. I just like to see King see how well he plays. But that's going to set up our next few matches. Hitmonkey versus Como. I believe we're going to do our next one. Um, and, of course, we already got it. winner's finals already set in stone. It's going to be Fear of Silence versus Insanity. But Hitmonkey versus Como is actually what I think we're going to get to next. Yes, sir. And another a team kill, by the way. Um, they're both a part of the <laughs> the same group, uh, FS, Fragmented Society. Same same as uh, as I. <laughs> okay, okay. Man, that so, sounds like that sounds like something like Mr. Robot or something. Fragments <laughs> of the Society. What? Yeah. Well, originally our, our original name was uh, Dunsun Gaming, but you know it got trademark. You know how trademarks wow. end up being. <laughs> Stupid trademarks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you can't do nothing about it. So we were trying to figure out a new name. We ended up having Fragments of Society. We started bringing in more people into the group. Normally, it was just, you know, a way for us to just get together and play games. And then it kind of just involved into to something more where a lot of a lot of us are just, you know, playing at various, uh, you know, games. Other than just, you know, fighters, we usually play a little bit of other stuff as well together. Okay. And, you know, we, we try to grow as a group and everything like that. And, you know, um, normally Key, he usually works two jobs. Um, shout outs to him. He's a, he's a trooper. So normally we don't get to see too much of him in, in our local tournaments because um, of how busy he is. But it's... Normally, when he gets a chance, he practices at home, and you know you end up seeing the fruits of the labor here in the top eight. Oh wow! Full crash down four two. You can see Hitmonkey definitely has some experience in this matchup. Though. Down four one two. Okay, doesn't finish uh. the string. Nice punish though. Big beefy. Oh, for the orphans. <laughs> Let's go. For the kids in the orphanage. Oh my god. Every pedigree, I get a thousand dollars to right. put for my orphanage. This, this pedigree just fed a kid, bro. Oh, back oh. three. And I think too, um, if you if you guys end up seeing Key and Evo against Arsenal Nash, very good against whip punishing. Mm. And you end up seeing it here in the in this match against Como. Tackle, break the legs. Nah, no thank you. I need those. Deadly oh. boomerang. I threw it before I walked in the room. Como not afraid. Uh oh no, no break, break on, on the, the throw. Plus two. Oh nice whip punish. Quick side step to make sure to get up a tackle and hit him either. Bro, they are over there getting hyped for smash <laughs> right now. Uh. Block. These two players trying to bring the hype here today. Oh, God. The oh, pressure. God, everything. The pressure against the corner, immense. He able to steal a round back. Yo, Hit Monkey is going off right now. Down 4-2. Let me get the wall. Ooh. Ow. Ow. The new uh, moves just have such a big impact. Uh, there we go. Okay. First of the day. The RKO. What the? <laughs> I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, it's just the weird interaction there. Ended up catching him toward his back. Not able to get too much out of it. Deadly Boomerang back three to hit the recovery. Nice launch. See what he can do with it. Still has heat. Come on, he needs one big throw. Is he going to hit it? If he gets all of this, you might be oh. dead, but he did. Oh, with the Oki. That was, that was tricky. That was tricky. My man just kicked that whole table over there. I just saw it. Yeah, the Como Tenoto special, the empty jump. Nice oh. whip punish. Como trying to keep the pressure. Keeping oh, key toward the corner. We're going to see the wall here. Oh, misses the ender. Um, Still able to get damage. I literally was thinking the exact same thing. Come on, Tono. We're linked. Oh, yeah, get that two. Get off me. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. The down one, two. Wait a minute. Come on, Tono. Hold on now. 
I did it as I was like, all right, shoulder charge. He's like, key, man, don't touch me, man. Stop down throwing. one, two. You know he's going to get down one, two. And he got the counter hit, so it was a combo. That was good. Big ups to Como. We'll see if Aki's able to adjust here. Able to change the stage. It seems like for a lot of various different tournaments, Arena Underground's like a favorite uh, to go to, you know, kind of maintain that damage. And he's probably going to show it off here. Oh, no, misses the end. Almost got the multi throw. Nice duck, gets the launch. Gets the wall. Oh, no. This is going downhill. Uh, uh. Gets the hell sweep. Taking round one of game two. Let's see if Monkey can keep this up in momentum. Oh, Como didn't get up, doesn't get the hit. No break on the giant swing. Uh, nice text. tech. Running three a little too close. Getting a little bit too close to me here. You're too close, Bob. Not letting this game go in the waste. Uh, Interrupt. Instant. Right back. Oh my Instant. god. Hella Complete damage. Complete counter. Oh wow. Oh damage. And it's ah. like that mind game I'm talking about where he was trying to activate Heat Burst, but Como already committing to the Heat Smash, and it's a complete counter to, to armor moves. For oh. those who don't know. Nice duck on the throw. Oh, able, and fully able to capitalize on it. Oh. Didn't believe, actually had the launch, but gets the 1 plus 2 throw on the back end. Oh my god. Jeez. Wall splat. Boom! Oh, you get a full combo off of this yes, now. Yes, sir. Uh, back one, two. No, it just takes the back three. What? Uh. What's the Oki? Oh, hits on the ground. Duly no. Como trying to use the other one from across the stage. Key said no. That could have been a lot of damage. Oh, oh we're speaking of a lot of damage. Heat smash! Como not out of this yet. Fight. Speeding it in here. Uh, uh. The music keeping up with Como. Oh, oh! We're going oh to the other God. side. Uh, twisted Powerball. Half Life already gone. Key trying to get it back. Nice break. Back three. Punishes the down jab. Uh oh, he can do it too. He said it's my Boom. turn. Uh, go back to the other side. Oh. Oh, that's oh. got to be an accident. Yeah. Uh huh. Key able to capitalize it, taking game two. Very nice. And I think, like, in that in that sort of instance, Key is using a lot more pre um, pressure and then also allowing, you know, as I was talking about with the game against Mouth Cow and Como, how, yeah. you know, play, play a little bit more defensive, let Como the make the mistakes, battle. let him come to him, and he's able to capitalize. He wasn't able to fully capitalize at the beginning of the match, but he was able to turn it around on the second half and thus allowing him to take game two. Nice, Jaguar step back, back one, two, you'll Sakimi break the arm. Yo, you going for the RDK? Rolling oh Death Cradle, my oh my god, no break. Yo, now that I know you can't break it, I'm always going for it. So much damage, it puts you in rage. Jesus. A nice answer back from Como. Okay, wait a minute. We got ourselves a game. Uh. Oh, mix up. Get off me. Uh, nice, nice punish. punish. Uh, hey. Jaguar step back. Getting Como out of Keeping a lot of peace. trouble. What's the pressure? Ooh. Oh. Throw again. Is that going to kill? Yes, yeah, it yeah, will. Yes. Como with a quick two rounds. Complete turnaround from game two. Oh. Damn, that all combo? Yep. Oh my god. Guaranteed after. Try to go for the pressure. Como able to get him out of the sky. Trying to capitalize for what damage he could get. Yeah, I think he could actually got back one too right there. Mm -hmm. Hanging vertical suplex, British bulldog style. Again. Oh, Great block. Oh, one last chance for Como. Oh my God! Oh. Back one, the old classic. <laughs> Hitmonkey able to sense that Como was going to challenge his pressure. Going with the back one. Uh oh, what we got? Oh no. There might be an issue with Como's control. Okay, we're back. No worries. 
Hopefully it doesn't upset his momentum a little bit here. The Dang. wall carry? You ain't getting to that wall doing that, <laughs> bro. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, I feel like at some point with how big the stage is, I wouldn't be surprised if Boring is able to do that with just two combos. Ugh. You say take that mid option. Ugh. Another one. Ugh. Boomerang. Just, this Komos is getting a lot of mileage off of these big hits. Break on the one plus two. He says, not this time. Too far oh. away. Back three. Now, this could hurt. I don't think it's going to kill, but it's definitely going to yeah. hurt. One more chance. And he's still got Do heat. Do it. He's got heat I know it. You're but dead. Como, game. It's oh, my God. Como the to no to bro. Once I saw the whiff, I'm like, oh, that's that's a body bag. <laughs> oh I, was, I was like, somebody get out the headstone. That's, oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's just going to come with a little bit more time. It's, you know, sometimes when, you know, in the moment and a lot of those scramble situations, you're you're like, oh, you know, what's going to happen? And not yeah. to mention, too, um, being able to pay attention to the individuality that the characters end up presenting when they're in heat. Yeah. And not, and, you know, making sure that in, in, King's, in King's place, you know, like making sure you're not whiffing or, you know, kind of letting him waste his resources a little bit and then, you know, take the mix up. It might not be as big as a heat smash, but at the very least you still live in that sort of situation. True, true. So, so, guys, we've been talking a lot. There's been a lot of good ass Tekken for this Tekken 8 at Genesis. But before we get to the winners' finals, we're going to take a quick break, give a quick reset, go grab snacks, wash your hands, come back and join us for the conclusion of Top 8 for Tekken 8 at Genesis 10. Stay tuned. Hey, don't go nowhere. Returns Top 8 Tekken 8 here, Infernal Spiral. <laughs> Tasty Steve on the mic. Told you got to say it like you mean it. Man, we I'm never going to live that down. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're no, made it to it the winner's time. finals. You better, dude. <laughs> We're made it to the winner's finals here. We have our two contestants. This wire is in the way. There we go. We've made it to the winner's finals of Tekken 8 right, near, right now. It is Fear of Silence going up against Inseretti. That is going to be best of five so it means first of three losers semis will still be two out of three until we get to that losers finals but right now with serious business in Serenity with the Huarong fear of silence with the dragon off that's going to be our next game yeah, great top eight so far and like I said earlier fear of silence and Serenity they ended up playing at uh, at our local a couple of days ago so this is a bit of a revenge match for in Serenity um, fear ended up getting the best of him in that set so it'll be interesting to see how he ends up adjusting for that matchup and then also we get to see a little bit of fear as well and whether or not he's uh, applying a little bit of that uh, you know that, that hidden tech. crouch tech that new tech he stole from you guys huh <laughs> yeah. you can say it's cool you already said it man it's on, it's on the bot no. hey if we can get him as an honorary like North Cal member then it's all forgiven but okay. I know okay. he's gonna he's gonna rep the you know the, the New York you yeah. know shout out to the scene over there yo shout out to the boys Bloodhawk yeah. shout out to the boy Reno and everybody on NYC Tech, and y'all know what it is. Those are my boys. But here we go. Inseretti, one of the homies, too, man. I've known him for quite some time. Huarong, Dragon Off, Winner's Finals, best of five. Let's get it. Fallen Destiny, baby. Let's go. A great, this epic place to play our first game. Oh, my God. I can see the... This <laughs> is ridiculous, bro. They're walking in with the rain and the wind blowing. The water effects. I just imagine a dude on the boat. What the hell is going on over there? <laughs> like, Hold up, bro. <laughs> right? Let me get my camera. <laughs> Oof. Oh, need to be careful. Okay. Oh, I like that little wild rising one. Ooh. Slow enough to interrupt. That full crouch is nasty. Bro, that full crouch down for one, bruh. It's a no. It's so fast, man. Fight. Oh, single jabs. Trying to get it offense started. Nice interrupt again. Nice back dash there. Okay. Yeah, Fear's not making any, like, big, big uh, commitments just yet. Kind of just feeling him out with a couple of jabs. You know, full crouches here and there. Here we go. Fully committed. And he. Oh, wow. And he is really just laying on the layers with the strings right here. Making Inseretti have to adjust on the fly, but having a hard time doing so. Get the flutter kicks. Tries to start a, a little blender of his own. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot that ends up uh, doing the bounce up now. Bro, mad damage. Yeah. Fierce pressure just Jeez. instrumental. Complete sidewalk there. Another mix up. Damn. <laughs> Fear well, pulling out everything out of the bag. <laughs> Taking game one. 
Man, it's crazy. It's like dragging off nosies in a video game. He's always breaking the fourth wall. He's like, I know you're watching these games. I know who's out there. You're about to see everything, man. I'm more of a man of action, not a man of words. Right. I mean, I can't talk, but if I did, I'd tell you, hold these balance. <laughs> Actually, pretty funny. Um, in scenario campaign for Tekken 6, if you play him against Azazel, he actually does say something. Really? So yeah. he's not me. He just chooses not to talk. I was surprised myself. Do you remember what he says? I'm curious now. The tsunami? Um, not too sure. I'll figure it out. I gotta find now. I gotta see it. I just thought him. I thought he was. I thought it was like actually written in his beat, but I could be. I, Obviously, I'm wrong. Yeah, like for the entirety of the scenario campaign, because you know how they have like unique voice lines and everything, yeah. depending on you know the stages and stuff. He just doesn't say anything up until the end. Oh, good punish right there. Nice side walk. Damn! Oh my god! I thought that was just counter hit, but it does it on regular hit as well. Oh my god! The way he tagged that. He is tearing fear. our ankles up, jeez. Every option that Insanity is trying to do to get the, the pressure back is just Fear is ready for it. Punishes, sidewalks, just any sort of pressure Insanity is trying to mount against him, Fear is just ready for it. Okay, good duck. Hold on. I want to see more of that tracking move, that big tracking that he has now. Fear enraged. Or the name. Huh? You know, Fear's about that, that huge smash. Here we go. Mix up. Nice. Insanity and heat now. That's exactly what can what he do with this? About. Nice interrupt. Oh, the down four. The dash up down four. Two games to none right now in this winner's finals. Insanity thinking about it. Yeah, I think he's he probably just going to take some time to, to think about it and uh, get a little space. And I think that, you know, um, potentially choosing a stage, he's going to stick to whoring the whole way. He's got to win three straight. But, you know, being able to decide on, you know, what he wants to do, some adjustments that he needs to make, because fear is just playing out of his mind right now. Also, if somebody got, has that clip on standby, send it to me. I want to know what this dude dragging off actually says every time. <laughs> But I no, think it's you will die, but I don't know. Oh. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> Fear having a good time up there. Yeah, I think uh, one of his uh, his New York buddies is in there too, cheering him on. Mm. I think his name is Tony. They both came together. Really? Okay. Oh, Starles with the down two. The Damn. pressure. Getting those Damn. blue sparks. Three for three. Yeah. Oh. Wow, staggering the folks right now. Jeez. Slide this time. Damn. Yeah, it's just that full crouch 1-4. Uh, it's just wow. getting a lot of mileage off. And any sort of time that Insanity is looking to just gain that pressure, like I was saying earlier, it's a lot of quick moves from Dragonoff is just able to take the momentum back away from him. It's actually pretty scary, man. Dragonoff walking at you, mixed with the running too, and now he's got that full crowd down, 4-4. Four, four, he's like, I don't need that four. stage 4. <laughs> he's got a bunch of other tools in the bag to use. I like that. It's already paying a lot more attention. And that's why I was like, I want to see more of that because he's been doing a lot of walking. That's a big heat initiated tracking move that he has right there. No break. Oh, that was a large amount of help that he got back, but it wasn't enough as the throw's going to finish him off, tying it off 1-1. One, one. So I think he noticed he's got to slow it down a little bit. Down two. Ooh. And I think a stage pick like Yakushima ends up working for that sort of benefit where you can kind of just play that, that the, the defense and, you know, kind of, you know, let Fear of Silence kind of fill him out. Oh. Who will? Oh, he's going Ooh. for these throws a lot. Lots of ducking. Fear answers with one of his own. Trade. Got to watch for the low one more round. And Fear will cash his check to head into grand finals. Yeah, keep an eye on Sarity if he's going to use a little bit more launchers now because I think he's just trying to get Fear to duck and then get a little bit more of those power mids in. I mean, he's, got, he's been using the tracking mid that's been pretty good, but mm -hmm. Fear's not giving him any space to do that anymore. He uses the X-ray move to actually take care of all the recoverable life. Oh, you're dead. Expending the heat smash. Very nice on Fear. Able to take it. 3-0. Very clean. Finals is the spot you will next time see Fear of Silence. Knocks Insereti to the loser's side, but that just means Insereti is going to be in loser's finals before we get this next match. So this is going to be good.
Yeah, not to mention it gives them a little bit more time to think about exactly what's going on because, you know, maybe you didn't have much time to adjust like mid-match, but, you know, sitting there and losers, maybe you're able to think about it, you know, calm down, drink a little bit of water and then see what, you know, where to go from there. And also you're able to carry that sort of momentum, you know, should you win losers finals into grand finals and then yeah, no, that's true, that's run true. that back. But now we're going to go to loser semifinals, man. Como with the king. Nanvito with the Yoshimitsu, Insuretti waiting, and the Raptors in that losers finals. As we get to, our, to, to we're about to crown a champion pretty soon here, but first we got to get through these last couple matches. Yeah, these matches have been going by pretty fast, just despite the fact that you know there's been like some 2-0s, some 2-1s, close matches, but you know it's just this this game is just so fast paced. It's it's kind of hard to like track everything at once sometimes. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean. Obviously, the game name of this game is like aggression, right? They want mm -hmm. you to be a lot more aggressive. But like Arsen said this on on uh, Twitter recently, where he's like, "Man, I think it's still like a defensive game overall." And I think I agree because you know Tekken has always been largely about like knowledge checks, and mm -hmm. now I feel like those knowledge checks are so much stronger that it's literally just gonna feel like it's nothing but offense. But people are starting to figure out certain things, right? Like. People figured out that you can actually, like, you know, jab Dragon off in between him doing, like, if he goes to the kick instead of anything else. Like, you can jab him out. Same thing goes for uh, Asusena. Like, mm -hmm. you can jab her after the 1-1. Or you can oh, use, wow. when she does her um, the mid-evasive move, mm -hmm. if you do a two-hit string, that second hit will always hit if you do it, if it's there. So, like, if I do 4-2-1 with King while she's doing the mid sway, the 2-1 is still going to hit her. So, stuff like that is mm -hmm. actually starting to be compiled and, like, learned about when we learn the game more. Obviously, I still feel like, you know, this is a little bit tweaking to be done. Mm -hmm. But stuff like that only comes with time of us playing the game. Yeah. I just saw recently people just figured out that, like, in MK1 with Raiden, like, when he does, like, the electric field, yeah. like, you can jump back, you can eat the hit, jump forward, and still hit him afterwards. So, it's stuff like that that happens as more as the game stays out there like as long as we continue to play the game the technology is going to evolve everybody gets better because we continue to play the game in its current state so obviously we're going to see some changes before this game is to its final yeah. spot that's how all fighting games are right now but obviously there are going to be times where look you might not know how to deal with it the best way possible so you might get beat up yeah i definitely agree and i think too um for how quick that you know everyone's still kind of learning everything and i think that you know the, the heat mechanic could be explored for defensive purposes. Yep. And I think, you know, we're starting to, like, slowly Get see that a little bit um, over time. Whereas, uh, you know, Nando or, or Malcow, for example, kind of just, like, you know, not expending the resource immediately on a heat smash, just learning to utilize the individual tools that a character ends up having to make the most out of it. Or even Fear of Silence as well. Yeah, you sure, right? Oh, ooh, without the sword. Watch it. Mad damage on that, by the way. Watch for the flash. Oh, I heard the, I heard the little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nice the flash. I already knew what was happening. You gotta be careful. Waits for it. Still gets the big damage there. Get up attack hits. Deadly Ooh, nice boomerang stop. is done. Oh Ooh. wow! Tries to move. Gets hit on the tail end. Oh, nice interrupt. And I think like a lot of these counter hit moves that Yoshi ends up having, especially with how aggressive Como can be in certain situations, it can make it or break the matchup here, whether or not Como can slow down a little bit and see whether or not, you know, what Nando is doing and then let him make the mistakes as well, just like that. Okay, nice conversion. Gets the running power bomb at the end. Looking for movement with the Ooh. shoulder charge. I like the weight. Oh, tried to whip punish, not gonna work yeah. out. Still, so, nope. Break on the one plus two. We're still going. Ooh! He might be able to kill if he does this right. Oh, oh my God. He didn't even need the heat. Nando. Fight. Oh, nothing. Oh, nice Ooh. Atlas hammer. Uh, uh. Back one, two. No, he's going for the wall. Yeah, the long startup was able to get a lot of mileage off of that just to, you know, bait the flash there. Launch the down four. Back to the wall, you go. Dude, that was so hot. Vito. Oh, my God. Oh. Damn, that was a first quick game. You win. Very clean play from Yoshi. He is Combo's not happy like, about that. Nah, bro. <laughs> Damn, the Persona 3. All right. I, love, I like that game, too. Oh, yeah, it just came out. Maybe, you know, playing a little bit too much at home <laughs> before he got here. <laughs> Oh, man. 
And I think too, um, you know, as we ended up talking about a little bit earlier, I think a lot of the aggression that Combos is <laughs> used to doing, it's not working out too much just due to, you know, a lot of the tools that Yoshi ends up carrying. And I think Como needs to slow down a little bit more. Hopefully, you know, switching to Yakushima is able to uh, give him that sort of benefit. Yeah, get a little more space, slow it down a little bit. It could definitely be overwhelming fighting a Yoshi no matter what. And I feel like that's like one of the main things that Yoshi's good at. Overwhelming, especially when you're not too familiar with the matchup and they call you out on it. And even if you are, there's a lot of stuff in this toolkit that really does take advantage. Not to mention, since people have been want having to use the no sword stance more, that's another stance that you end up having to worry about. He has his own set of moves, different yeah. properties. The flash and, once and again. And you just can't stop this train right now. <laughs> It's named Nandito the Bandito. Yo, nope. Down one, two. Man, Robin rounds. Damn. Ooh. Taking damage when he can. Uh. Going for the Oki. Nice interrupt. Okay, nice options here. Oh Ooh. my god. Catching him on the wake up there. Not able to fully optimize it, but still able to take some damage on the way out. Okay. Didn't get it all. We got something. Como trying to maintain that aggression to get the white health back. Oh, but Nando, four, three. nice challenge. He might be able to kill. Yeah, he smashes. And gets life oh. back. A little too far for the last hit, the 4-4-2. But not enough to stop the momentum that Nando has right now. Come yeah, this on. is best of three, so Nando's on set point. If he takes it, Como goes home to see if he can get a, some sort of life going. <laughs> Fairly even on life. Como slowing it down a little bit. Trying to find his way in. But the Beyblade um, going in. Those oh. oh. spirit away. <laughs> so, oh. I don't have enough souls. I got to take a little bit more. Okay. Big boy king. Oh, but this puts him in rage. You really got to be careful. Heat available on both sides. Big counter hit. Como. It's back not on the board. It ain't over yet. Fight. Como's not giving up. I like these pokes. There you go. Slower pokes to interrupts a lot. Going for some of these bigger moves out of Jaguar step. Nice punish. Okay, down for one, two, the flash. Big counter hit. Now he is in trouble. This isn't even gonna put him in rage though. So he's still got a chance here. Ooh. Okay. Helicopter. Oh, runs into Bay it. Blade. Okay. Stays on the ground. Yeah. Well, oh, you're dead. Yo, oh Como my God. Tonoto, still alive. Hold on. Final round. Nando's still on set point, but Como looking to get his first game. Uh, while standing 2-2. Two, two. Nice start. Punish. Goes for the two throw. Great interrupt uh, from Como. Figure four. Break his legs. Oh. Doesn't fall for the Oki. Como still has a lot of life left. Nice break. Down one, two. Getting him off the interrupts. Okay. Keeps it solid. Unblockable. Oh. Not sure what that was, but people's elbow came out. Oh, and he cancels out. What a roll. Oh. Down one, two. Como Tonoto changes the momentum, gets a game on the board, and now. A final match between the two. Yeah, and look at him. <laughs> He's hype. I like it. You definitely need that sort of thing to kind of just break the, you know, the nervousness or whatever they might be feeling on the stage. Because sometimes, you know, when you're playing on stream, it's a whole different sort of, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like a whole... I know the atmosphere is different for, for sure. Yeah. The pressure is different for sure as well. Yeah, like normally like playing, you know, stream on our local is a little bit different than a major. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, wait a minute. Doesn't okay. let it rock with the 4-2 down one. Yeah, Como's getting a little bit more aggressive now now that there's walls in play. Dead. And Nando able to take one, round one of game three. Fight. Oh, running three. Leg breaker a little out of distance. Oh my gosh, the pickup. Oh, he might reach the wall here. Oh, just a little short. Mm. Expends the heat first. 
Going for pressure. Nice low. Wow, just raw up 4 3 after the hit. Uh, gets the wall? No. Yeah, yes, he does. The other wall. Ooh. Yo, the, the stab? I have never seen that before. Fight. Nice. A lot of those interrupts there trying to get Nando on his toes here. Good punish. Able uh, to get the throw. Oh, nice break. Breaks the arm breaker. Oh, oh, oh. could have had something big right there. Uh huh. Almost has a lot of life to play with here. But Nando potentially could take it to the wall. What's the Oki? Oh, flash. Oh, Yo, no, nice no break. Hurt. Nice break. Oh, expends the heat smash immediately. Nando able to take it 2 1 over Como. My man said all is vanity. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was evil. That was evil. That was like, evil. Oh, my bad, you should have seen that coming. He waited for the camera, bro. He waited for the camera. That was not cool. That was not cool. That was actually not cool. My man was like, camera, watch this. Little, got him. We got a little Yoshi fake there. But, you know, big ups to Como. It was sad to see him go as Nando moves back in. Um, and I, I feel like a, a lot of the gameplay that he was showing within the third game is a completely different than what he was playing with with Yakushima. A little bit more aggression, yeah. and Yoshi was still able to capitalize on some of the mistakes that Komo was making. I think if he was able to slow it down a little bit more in neutral, then it could have been a closer round there. He was getting the pokes and everything, interrupting him, you know, because normally he's um, Komo uh, was getting a lot more mileage off of it, and Nando was not able to get those long, um, long startup uh, lows that he's so used to doing. Yeah, you could definitely see like the kind of change because he definitely in those first like first few rounds he was hitting him with a lot of unblockables, uh, a lot of full crouch sweeps, kind of keeping him on his toes or off his toes actually. Um, but Nando man had a nice little sweep going forward. We did see that one game turnaround, and it's because he started to mix in the throws a little bit more. Lots more pokes with, like, the down for one from mm -hmm. King as well. But obviously it didn't work out because you start to see the spacing start to play in a little more from Yoshi and Nando. So that's what happens. But now we move on to Losers Finals. And that's going to be Nando going up against Inserity. And, oh, snap, the legend himself, Mr. Choi on the stage. Oh, big ups to John Choi. He's been uh, help, helping run out the event here in Genesis. Uh, <laughs> and I know, like, some people have been asking for, like, an NCR, if we're going to see a resurgence, a return back, or, you know, if Genesis is going to be like that, that, new, uh, that new NCR for, mm -hmm. our, for our area. Um, hopefully, uh, we end up hearing more throughout the year and everything like that because, you know, we end up having a lot of events back to back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been to a, a few NorCal, uh, NorCal regionals in my day, so I would love to see it come back, especially for, like, you know, the big tournaments for the West Coast, man, because there's not many big West Coast tournaments, mm -hmm. like you said before, so I think that would be great to bring it back, especially now, man. There's so many good games to play. Yeah, not to mention, uh, you know, it's it's able to get a, a little bit more representation out for the West Coast. Not to mention that mm -hmm. it would be a, a good way to showcase a lot of the, the talent as well. You know, we don't really get to see too much of the West Coast talent, especially within, um, you know, the TWT, how it's yeah. it's a bit of a, you know, it's not that easy, especially with how expensive it is here in California. Yeah, you probably yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, yeah. There's no problem. I completely understand. <laughs> it was, used to be like six bucks for a bag of chips. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's $12 for a bag of Doritos in his bag, boy. That's crazy. It ain't even a value bag. The value bag, 27, bro. You gotta, you gotta spend some money, bro. It's already getting set up. We just saw Nando up on the stage. So, have you seen these guys play each other? Yeah. So normally, it, within the local, this is arguably like uh, a potential like top three that we're used to seeing pretty ah, often. See, that's good information to have. So nor it's usually sometimes we get it for winners finals, sometimes we get it for losers finals. But usually, like there, there are arguably like you know North Cal Killers favorites to make top three. Any one of them could win the tournament, and not to mention that like our our scene is like really 
prone as as a collective that like anybody could just immediately take you out. But obviously we have those that have you know rise you know to the occasion to consistently place really high in, in um you know every week and usually in Sarity and Nando are like clear examples of that. And you also have the twins, you know, Cheapy and What's It To You. You know, yeah. we end up seeing Cheapy and the you know the Rising Stars Invitational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So shout outs to them as well. Hopefully we'll be able to see them a little bit more down the line. But right now we got Nando and Insanity on Arena. This is best of five. So hopefully we get to see more games a lot closer. They were playing earlier in casual, so we'll see if uh, there's any adjustments made in between the, the sets. Let's see. The classic right now. Simple jabs. Nice. Could have been something bigger, but something better than nothing. He's a down four, two for his trouble, though. And I think the key here will just be who's willing to take the risk and if, if it's going to pay off in the end for them. Because I think a lot of their movement and, you know, is, is really crisp. It's just whether or not, you know, you're willing to take the risk to get that big amount of damage. And who's able, able to win the poking war in, in between the, uh, the neutral. Fight. Yes, Arity. Get this first round. Remember, this Ooh. is best of five. Favorable trade for Inserity on the flash. Oh, wow. Oh. Forgot about the second hit. Without the sword, he does the second hit. Bring him. Flash him. Oh, you should be dead. Ah, oh. no, the wall combo drop. Gets the back turn. Inserity oh. still in heat. Able to engage it with Heat Peacekeeper. Getting the heat. <laughs> wow. The hell sweep. Inserity robbing the round from Nando. Two quick rounds. Whoa. Oh. That move is just looking like one of those kung fu movies. He's like, ah. yeah. oh. Okay. Let me get the wall. Uh uh. Big damage. He's already with a big lead. Nice. He's a launcher right here. As an opportunity, oh. Yoshi can get life back a lot better than a lot of these other characters in the game, so. But at least Nando's able to escape the wall. Sarity trying to fight him back out of it. Huh. Nando's engaged in heat. 15 seconds left. You're going to have oh, to make a playing. decision, Nando. Oh. 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 Oh, my gosh. Like, he was playing so good towards the end there. Nando gets hit for that last one. Yeah, I wonder if he was just worried about the fact that a little bit of chip and it was getting close to uh, to timeout that, you know, maybe he was trying to get like a flash or something in that sort of situation to see if he's able to, you know, take the round from sincerity. But it was pretty close. I, I honestly think that, you know, Nando was able to take a lot of those risks that I ended up mentioning earlier. A lot of like down forward twos, everything like that kind of interrupt Sarity's pressure whenever he's overextending a little bit, trying to force him back toward Get the wall. Nando the is able battle. to reset the neutral that yeah. way. And then it, you know, becomes this like dynamic shift. Oh, he switched to the dragon off. I was about off. to say Nando yeah. switching characters. Now. Yeah, so these are the main two that he would play. Um, Dragonoff was what he was originally playing when the game came out. He's been playing a little bit more Yoshi lately in, in tournaments, but Dragonoff is something that uh, he potentially has in his back pocket if he needs it. Mm, okay. Decent combo there. And then with the throw on the wall. Little chip damage on that string. Yeah, maybe he's just wanting to look for those uh, those big power mids, the plus on block, trying to get Insanity to give him a taste of his own medicine in the matchup. Good, hey, good awareness there. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Successful with the heat engager again. Yeah, I don't see that heat engager too often. You never see people use that. I know I don't, at least I should say it that way. <laughs> Oof. Wow, yet again. Okay. I thought he was going to heat dash after it, too. Okay. Power block. Mm -hmm. uh, I love I love the way he used that meter that entire round. Still use it to, like, keep the pressure mm -hmm. up. Uh, the heat engager he was using, and then just the heat smash toward the tail end of the bar was so good. And Serretti trying to bring this back right now. Remember, this is Loser's Finals. Best of five is the name of the game. Full crouch down for one four. Oh, no break on the throw. Oh, nice interrupt there. Heat engager again. Oh, get off of me, bro. No. Oh, man. 
thing's got some range. And it, it, took, it took a big amount of chunk, too, but, you know, Insanity being able to favor the trade, getting around on the board here. Mm, wow, power crush. Has a little arm on. You got to be careful. Big hit. No break, break this time. Ooh, nice interrupt. Okay, it's no. just a back and forth of just interrupting each other's pressure. Yeah, they're swinging on each other right now. It's just Sincerity's getting a lot more mileage out of the pokes and the damage in between the scrambles. Nando just needs one big hit, but unfortunately, Sincerity able to take the fourth round, tying it up 2-2. Okay. It would, it would be a big momentum boost for Sincerity if he can get this round to get the 2-0 lead. Nando's not looking to make it easy. And so, wow, that was just a large Step wall back. Uh. Damage. Uh, that is the move that you wanted earlier. <laughs> hey, man, that thing hurts. Do you watching like a lot of the Dragon All players? They were not closing out the wall combos with it. Now, obviously, it might, you know, when it's guaranteed, might switch up. Mm -hmm. But it just takes off so much damage. What is it, down 4-1, one, 1 plus 2? Um, it's uh, the down 3-2, 1 plus down 3, 2. Down 3-2, 1 plus 2. Okay. And I think, too, because sometimes in, in rare instances, it might whiff. So maybe it's like either between an Oki situation or maybe just trying to find a different ender for Dragonov so he can continue that pressure and not overextend and then potentially end up getting launched for, you know, the whiffs and the weird interactions in the 3D space. Uh, maybe it's just a change of clothes. All right. Change of senior as well as we, we will be going around. Well, actually, he can switch. Okay, going to see him. For the next battle. Yeah, pseudo infinite, similar to Yakushima. Maybe he's just wanting, you know, the same thing that he's doing against Fear of Silence to kind of play a little bit more defensively and, you know, kind of feel each other out. Because he was winning the Pokemon Wars, so if he can kind of do that, uh, less of the, you know, the wall pressure situation there. Like the jab. Nice sidestep launch. Dragonoff no slouch to the wall carry as well. He could definitely get to the wall. Especially in this game, man. His wall carry is really good. But it's still just... no breaks on the one plus twos. Hold on. Ow, big damage. Ooh, he says, come here. Yo, the sneak tackle. Complete mix-up. Not able to break the throw this time. Goes in the heat. Has the heat smash on deck. Yo, he's able to maintain right? that heat through the combo. Oh, oh fully no. committed to it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> And Sarity able to win the scramble off of Nando's very minor mistake, but... And I know you're saying, like, he's been playing his character, but he dropped that combo. Yeah. He could have won the game off of that. Or won the round, excuse me. Oh, that was so good. Back to no nice, break no break again. on the throw. And Sarity looking to even the, the life here. Maybe just one or two more uh, exchange situations. Able to get the life back. Nice what duck. duck. Keeping the pressure going. Oh, finishes the whole thing. Great placement on the power crush right there. Fight. Probably thought it said he was going to cancel it. Ends up finishing the whole thing. Mixing up the pressure now. What the hell is that string? Oh, nice interrupt. Okay, filling each other out here in the neutral. Peacekeeper. Hell sweep. Nice. Sarity still in heat. Okay, no break. This puts Wong Wong in rage. Down two. To be Nando. Careful. Nando has it in his back pocket. Is he going to use the heat burst? Yes, he will. Backs off a little bit. Doesn't want Sarity to get any sort of pressure going. Starting with pressure of his own. Wow, weird interaction. <laughs> Back one, and that's exactly oh. what I was talking about with the big tracking mid. And Soretti trying to make it back to go to grand final stage select on the side of Nandito. And I think this could potentially benefit him down the line because of the fact that Nando is picking Dragunov and obviously, you know, Fear sitting, you know, at top of the mountain right now in grand finals. And not to mention, he can kind of look for, you know, certain moves that Dragunov is doing, a lot of key moves. and you know, being more prepared for him when the time comes. Plus, he ends up getting that extra momentum if he ends up winning this next game. Yep, that's true. Has to stick to his guns now, though. If he really wants to win this, he's got to stick with Dragon. It's going to be Dragon off the desert for him. Yep. Ends up having to take it the whole way. Ends up selecting the stage. We're going into the stratosphere. Then we're taking this battle to space. 
Round one. My man dragging out. He don't breathe the oxygen, man. Right? <laughs> totally fine. My man's too cold, bro. I love the simple jabs. Keep Swalong on it. Man, Slayer, he's trying to find a way to get uh, to get in and start his pressure. Man, though, just letting him have it. Man, going Ooh. to the strings this time around. Oh, wow, he went for the punch parry right there. Very nice punish. No break on the throw, and Sarity able to take round one of game three. Very nice start. Fight. Okay. Oh, no break man, again. He's really not breaking these throws. Oh, wow. Back three. Big launch. And I've got a back turn combo as well. Oh, All of that hit? Every to fully optimize it depending on the situation. Ooh. Potential was there. Oh, back one. Down two. And he's really just turning up the offense right here. Yeah. Goes in the stand, starts with the low power crush, small punish. Oh, Ooh. gets him in the back. It's like, don't worry, I'm a licensed chiropractor. Whoa. That could have been dangerous. No break on the one plus two. He's not dead, though. Down four. Yeah. Yeah. It was so many options that Dragunov ended up having in that sort of situation. Ends up guessing wrong, and Nando able to just tie it up. Oh, nice whip punish. Trade. Oof. And I like how Unsarity is able to take back the pressure in those sort of situations and then knowing exactly yep. when to back off, not fully continuing it. And he is not breaking these throws and it's really starting to mess him up. Tries to go for the up 4 4. I like the defense here though. Okay. okay. See, we saw this is the first time yeah. seeing any of that. And it's been so hard to like keep Quarong honest mm -hmm. and Unsarity's definitely been reading it. Not to mention, like, Sneak, sneak 4 ends up having a lot of range, so in those times where he's with, uh, getting with punished, that Sneak 4 can kind of make up for those sort of yeah. instances where Insurity's trying to back off. And you get a little more chip, so you get chip off of that, so it's really actually good to use the backswing blow. First time we've seen it, not going to work out this time. I know Nando doesn't want to go home, man. He needs to turn it up right now. Perfect stage to do it. The music's bumping. And you get Ooh. the ground explosion, too. Spins it instantly. Man, those last chance. Insanity keeping up the pressure. Insanity. Gonna be the winner here of the two. Going to grand finals on top of it. He's about to spike his controller. Don't do it, man. These guys know each other. Like you said before, when the locals happen, this is typically one of your top three matches that you see. So it's good to see that consistency, especially coming to a spot like this. But we move on. Grand finals is the set that you're about to see right oh, now. Here we go. Serretti versus Fear of Silence. Dragging off what we just saw. So which is good for Insuretti going up against Wara. And, you know, you can see Fear earlier. And, you know, the aura is kind of emanating, especially from that uh, that Mokujin uh, fit that he's wearing. Yo, look, <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Mokujin wear, man. Hey, so look, guys, before we get to these grand finals, we do have a message from our sponsors. Let's take a listen.
B-O-B-C-6, man. That was a sick yeah. trailer, bro. Awesome. You had me over here jumping, <laughs> and it got Tekken and Street Fighter Six being added to it. All the big names in Ultimate are going to be there as well. So that's actually a really big tournament to go check out. Look, I'm no Smash professional, but they got Tekken up there, and they got a sick after party, and they got Street Fighter Six. So who knows, man? I might pull up just for the fun, just for the giggles, just for the friendlies. Man, honestly, it's just a lot more of these, like, new events are starting to pop up, and it's good to see, and it's, it's great that... You know, for for Smash related events that they they've been wanting to include a lot of these other games in and, and kind of like have like a, a cohesive yeah. sort of event with everybody and you know grow the FGC as a whole. So it's great to see. Well, you guys got your chance, man. Make sure you pull up BOBC six coming up, man. One of Toronto's biggest tournaments, I believe it said. So make sure you tune in. So I don't know when signups open, but you should check it out, man. Especially if you're in the Smash, especially if you're in the fighting games. They got Tekken six, Tekken six, Street Fighter six. <laughs> <laughs> and Tekken 8 will be there, but we move on. Grand finals here for Genesis 10. This is going to be Tekken 8, Inseretti versus Fear Silence, all the way from New York, representing NYC Tekken. The rematch, rematch of the century. We'll see if uh, Inseretti is able to carry that sort of momentum that he had against Nando in Losers Finals, and hopefully adjustments end up being made. Maybe he's a little bit more comfortable in his element. Maybe he's you know gonna keep out for the the full crouch mix-ups and the you know the big power mids. Mm -hmm. No yes, break. No. Oh, here we go. Yo, the running twos with the blue stuff on it too. You know, speaking of Tekken Six, I actually put a you know. Um, What's it? Uh, the urban, uh, urban war stage uh, yeah. music on here. It just it works. It works pretty well. It actually works, yeah. But you know the Tekken 8 soundtrack, no slouch either. Ooh. Nice low parry. Oh. About to see a wall burst here. Oh, no. just short. A four four on top of it breaks the one plus two this time though. Actually, that was pretty good for Inserity. Whether or not he got the throw or not, he still gets the side switch, able to escape the wall, putting pure silence into wall pressure of his own. Wow, nice the reversal. Parry. Eight seconds left on the clock, though. They've been fighting for a long time. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Fear gets his out. First the combo. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, and the smash on top of it. That was so sick. That yeah, was so sick. I actually thought the dig jab was going to interrupt the heat smash. Nah, you're crazy. Oh, nice trade. Man, he stole that. Oh, wow. Oh. Wall splat. Step back, let me fix my clothes. Uh. No fear. Yo. Sneak four. Heat pressure. Yo, triple. Expends it immediately. Slide. Getting the, the, the slide, baby. Let's go. Three. Oh, here it comes. Changing music. Oh. Changing insanity. Put them in the blender. There's the nice. walk. We saw that in the first set these guys played. Fear of silence, bringing it back. Loser side for Inseretti. That means he has to win two best of fives if he actually wants to take this to another set and be a potential champion. What a duck. Oh, what a duck for fear. Oh. And again with the smash. Oh. You Get off this dirt off of me. <laughs> Off my cool new jacket. Are you serious? So I Just sure, got this jacket. So I make sure you get my good side in my back when I walk away. And I think too, um, I think once Sincerity starts to apply what he ended up doing against Nando earlier, kind of just, you know, backing off. And then when he, you know, because he's still sidewalking him and catching him. At, yeah, in he's a still sort of getting those. He's still getting those. It's those hard reads from the pressure situation. And I think once Sincerity starts to mix it up, but a fear of silence, he's able to get all the read zones. What Sincerity is trying to do, getting full combos, Man. forcing him toward the wall. Okay, wait a minute. They switch positions. Oof. Oof. Yo, do it again. Damn, the mids and the lows. Okay, wait a minute. Goes for a series of his own. Fierce Silence with a lead. Inserity, we've seen fight back with a couple of strings, but not enough to avoid the low. One game in a round on the side of Fear. And that down three's got a lot of range. I wonder if Fierce Silence can actually use that in those sort of situations to keep Inserity in check. Just frame skyrocket, big damage coming up. No, but I think you're right. I'm curious, too. I want to see if he can put that in a better spot to get some big damage. Okay, bring it out. Two. 
going more toward a pork poking oriented game that kind of slowly uh, taking Sarity down in life and then maybe look for a big uh, big moment. Mm -hmm. Sarity ready for the down two, able to take the pressure and Sarity tying okay. it up one one. Oh, power crush yeah. gets it. Oh no! Possibly that a little worse. bit more power crushes in that sort of pressure game too, just in case. That'll help it. him out. It'll really help him out. Especially, it'll make you think about swinging high like that. But he's yeah. ready for it. Ducks, but does not get the punish. Goes for the throw this time. Fear ready. Oh, the Ooh. reversal! The reversal. Do it again. Big Do lows. it again. Pressure. What's the mix? I feel like he smashes coming. There we go. Pressure. Oh, oh we're in a Gets him out of the trouble. While standing for something small, simple. Fight. Ooh. Big whiff there. Sarity isn't able to fully capitalize it. Oh, gets the crumple, but a little bit off axis so he doesn't get the float. Oh, Ooh. running two, but he dropped the combo. That's another chance for Inserati. Nice throw break. Pressure. You have to be careful. Back one to get away from the unbreakable tackle. That was really smart. Uh, yeah, I feel like What a block. Oh. Good option. I want to see more of those big mids, man. Yeah, let's go. Goes for the hell sweep. Whoa. Almost ran into it. Nice. Breaks the throw. Backswing, not nice gonna do it. The back three. Nice patience from Insanity, able to just let Fear of Silence make a big mistake and able to capitalize on it, tying it up to two. Oh wow, caught oh. you peeking. Commits to the heat dash. Ooh. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Jeez, the shoulder to get to the wall. Position switch. Now you're on the wall, and it's not a good spot to be versus Warong, no matter how good you are on the defense. And Slayer, he's slowly getting his white health back, too. Down two. Tried to Ooh. stop it with the wild standing four. Goes for the mid to mix it up. Sneak four. Nice interrupt from Insarity. Able to breathe a little bit. He's got a chance. He's still got heat. Ah, uh, there it is. Gotta be careful a little bit here. Ah, Fear of Silence able to interrupt him there. It's just a lot of those fast adjustments that Fear ends up making as soon as Insanity's trying to create new new pressure. Fear is immediately ready for it as soon as he sees it again. And I think that's just making a big difference in this matchup. Really thinking about it right now. I don't blame him. Take a breather, man. See what you can learn from that last game. And it's definitely something that you was pointing out too, but I'm telling you, if he started doing more mids, mm -hmm. it really do him a better service of making sure that Dragonoff respects that mid game. Those big tracking mids. Breaks the throw. And I don't know the input on it, but he's done it a few times, and every time it's netted him, either they go back to neutral or he gets the hit and it's a heat engager. See, like right there, yeah. that's one of them. Gets the throw this time. Back nice three. punish. Mm. Able to heat engage. Full stick of meter. Down two, sprinkling him in. Oh, heat yeah. smash to end it off. Mm. As soon as Insanity ends up trying to start his pressure, Fight. good on fear. Oh. Heat engage again from Sneak 4. Damn. Nice launch. Okay. You can do something with this. Goes for Opsawar carry. Trying to get him toward the wall here. Slowly taking out. Oof. Not letting Fear breathe. He doesn't want to give him his white health back because of all the pressure that Dragonoff can mount. Gets the throw. And Serrati with the Warong spins the smash. Nice Go. throw break. Great punish. Down two. Now it's Fear of Silence's turn. That's if he lives through the barrage. He won't. And Serrati trying to do something with this. Doesn't have any games on the board, but still needs a full two sets. If he loses this round, he can't afford another. Yeah, there was no pushback from that launcher there. Fear of Silence able to take control of that with the punish. Oof. Yeah, you're starting to see a more like defensive oriented game from like Fear. A lot uh, a lot less uh, power stuff aside from that earlier, but he's taking a little bit more of a, a poking sort of uh, let insanity sort of try to get that pressure going again and then capitalizing on uh, you know on those mistakes, whether it's with heat smash or a mm. big power mid just like that from wall running too. Set point right now, Insanity in trouble. Tournament point right now, Insanity in trouble. Heat 
pressure mounting. Nice interrupt with down forward too. Let's see if he can get something out of it. Damn. Jabs right here. Big power low. And Sarity's last chance. Nice. Oh, he can oh, get the kill. He can get the kill. He can get the kill here for sure. Just raw rage. All right, Insurady still alive. We got another round. We got another round. Insurady cannot lose another round in this match, or it is over. And I think too with the with the rage art, with the long uh, long period of time, it gives him a chance to kind of uh, take a breather. Know, yeah. Compose yourself a bit. But Fira Silas able to get the one, two, one. Oh my God, that was so good. The first time we've seen it in a set full combo conversion here. Answer ready. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get a read on the power lows and the down twos. No, no break. break. Answer ready's got a chance now. Let's no go. break. The sparks don't watch the lights. Nice interrupt. Oh. Uh, uh. Able to take a big chunk of that white life back with the heat smash. Um, no break. break. You're not dead, but it's going to hurt. I oh, my wrong. God. That and your tournament champion, your Genesis 10 champion with the heat smash to the unblockable tackle. NYC Tekken Sphere going to take it with the dragon off. You, <laughs> you still, <laughs> my man, I looked over and you were like, no, what? <laughs> It's just that last hit took like a huge yeah. chunk, and I, I just didn't believe it. I, I didn't. I, you, I was like, yeah. oh, he's, oh, he got one more chance. But that's and look, you see how he walked off the stage like dragging yeah. off with the hand behind his back. <laughs> nice call out right there. Yo, fear of silence representing NYC Tekken. Going to be your champion here for Genesis 10. Let's take a look one more time at the bracket. Had a couple of kings in there. Had a Yoshimitsu as well. It was really dope to see, man, mm -hmm. especially look, Steve Fox in there, uh, Como. Shout outs to Bao, uh, Nando, like you said before, mm -hmm. Hitmonkey, just a great top eight all around. Tekken 8 still a new game, like you said before, but like, what a great tournament, especially here for Genesis 10, man. I feel like it's the first time, well, first time I've been here to see it with my mm -hmm. own eyes, especially for something like Tekken 8. Not to mention that, you know, Fear of Silence able to fully capitalize on everything in such a short amount of time. It's yeah. only been three weeks, and you're seeing, like, He's not skipping a beat with Dragunov, despite all the new stuff that he ended up getting and able to fully utilize it in a lot of situations. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, just like, the thing is, is that, you know, Fear is a dedicated, like, Dragunov player, too. Uh, Insurady, just the same for Huarong, man. It's, it's just really good to see him, like, actually play at this level. And on top of that, versus somebody like Fear, who's also, like, really, really good as well. And like you said, this is these are two of the players, I mean, talking about Nando, talking about Insurady, that typically come in, like, the top threes that you guys as local. So, I mean, it says a lot just about how strong the scene is over here. Yeah, I have to, you know, fully, uh, you know, give a shout out to the North Cal community. It's, you know, a reason why I was able to, you know, get a, a shot at, you know, being able to commentate with, with you for, for top eight and being able to show, you know, what North Cal is all about. And hopefully we can kind of put ourselves on the map, you know, get people to come in, you know, and, and, you know, experience what, you know, we end up having here. And, you know, even Fear ends up enjoying, you know, the locals and everything like that. And, you know, he ends up taking something with him. Well, look, man, I'm going to tell you right now, NorCal's already on the map. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of players that come from NorCal. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, man, if you guys want to check out some of this cool merch, man, we got a crazy sale going on over at 10.0. You can either scan and go check it out at 10 0 10 0 Dash. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the spooky dance and it messed me up. <laughs> Merch.10o-o.gg. Or you can use your phone to scan the QR right now. But we got some really dope items you can check out, man. Shout outs to everybody that's already stopped by the booth, that's already said hello. But man, thank you guys for having me, man, especially for Tekken. I don't get to typically do stuff like mm -hmm. this. So it's cool to actually come to a Smash Local, a Smash Local, a Smash Major, and see how you guys get down, man, and just commentate and see a bunch of the homies. Yo, Infernal Spiral. <laughs> it's definitely been a pleasure talking with you on the mic as well as bad dog as well man it's been so dope i mean if you got anything else for the people out there man you want to um, tell them well i mean i also want to give a shout out to genesis for you know yeah. allowing us to to have this sort of space and show off tekken 8 um and then also from you know the bottom of my heart that you know it's it, i'm a little bit nervous it's like my first like major event mm -hmm. you know it's a little bit different between like the locals and obviously you know fan of me and everything like that so you know, hopefully you guys were, you know, a lot patient with me and, you know, hopefully you guys end up enjoying the, you know, the Tekken Top 8. 
I know that it's going to take a little bit of time for people to get used to the game, but I hope you guys end up enjoying everything, and hopefully there's more to come down the line. Yo, man, you did fine, man. Don't worry about <laughs> it, man. Nerves happen all the time, but it's good you start at the locals because I feel like a lot of commentary, it needs to start there because it, it, it prepares you for talking about your friends on the mic and talking with other people on the mic as well. So don't sweat it, man. You did fine. <laughs> I will be around, and make sure you guys check out their locals as well, man. They got some commentators out here, and obviously they have players. But with that being said, we're going to sign off. Make sure you guys tune in and follow Spooky as well as more Genesis X action. It will be going down in Street Fighter 6 Top 8 coming up right after this. Y'all stay tuned.